Today is March 19th, 2024. Okay. Over the last few days, it's got a lot better. When people realize that Michelle is one of the drug lords taught her. That's why she had Keith and his men. He's an older African-American guy. If you want a picture of him. Well, not only the police have it. He was 50 to 60. Uh, black hair with little gray and it had a short top hat um in 1819 said him and his men work for michelle okay and um it was cut short and had a little gray in it his hair he's an african-american man okay heavy set had guys that were african-american as thick as basketball players work for him. They work for Michelle. And they made sure that everybody knew he worked for Michelle. Okay. Well, Saturday in Belden Village by the Chinese place, I see him. He's grown his hair out to some kind of gay little ponytail. Um, he looked better with short hair, Keith. Uh, talking to some of those big African-American guys. I told them not to mention a tape before. They all know they could get sued. I told him I set her up. That she'd never get her money. You know, you're my ex-husband's girlfriend's bitch. And henchman. You don't got nothing admissible, bitch. They're lying to people. Fucking lying. They're lying while that agent's stealing my money. He stole my money on the first day, December 2nd, 22, at noon. My phone's tapped. The minute he stole my money. They were talking about him stealing my money in January 19. Um, what was it? September 17 of 23. They were talking about uh, stuff like that. And then they, October 6, 23, Walmart 62. They stole my money November 20th, 23, 8 to 9 in the morning, Walmart 62, that he stole my money. Okay. And then he confesses December 14th, 23. He was in it with Dave and stole my money. So, FBI agent John, um, a couple weeks ago, um, Grinders North Main, they already know it's you that uh, told on me at that church before he called me back. They already have your confession. You stole my money. They said that was you. And the police already know everything is photoshopped and it's framed by the drug cartel. Did you realize Michelle was the drug lord's daughter? Mm -hmm. when she walked in there with Dave. You know, she only, he only went out with Dave, Michelle for her dad's power. Because he was a drug lord, right? And you knew that was freaking Alex in a beer playing Santa, raping people, drugging him. I'm actually going out now with somebody who's a retired sheriff, used to be a retired uh, police officer before that, and is a paralegal said no law enforcement would ever fall for a tape before nobody can be in your home but the protected light cases with statements okay and they can photoshop the washing and roofies you are sleepwalking i told them about how i thought it was the wild water with the bruises throwing up heart racing and almost passing out in the severe swollen personal infection he's like honey i'm sorry that happened to you he said, even under drugs, you were fighting moth. Those are defense moths. He said, and that severe swollen personal infection wasn't from dirty well water. You were being raped, and you were trying to fight a moth even under drugs. Those are defense marks. I said, it's all documented by all my family physicians. He said, I'm sorry that they did that to you. And he said, nobody in law enforcement would fall for Roofie confessions, tapes before a photoshopping and washing and drugged and told to say stuff and you are sleepwalking. Michelle's and like um, one of Keith's men was outside Target on Sunday. She's realizing why they all helped out and who she was. She was one of the drug lord's daughters. People were talking about it. That Michelle was some kind of pimp. Oh, she walked around like one ordering men and they barked. I'll tell you what, Daddy's one of the drug lords. Is that why you helped out FBI agent Will and John? You're way into the cartel? Huh? You sacrificed me? Or were you scared of Daddy? And you're scaredy pants. Huh? 
Are you scared of the drug lord? Because you're just a federal police officer. Mm -hmm. You didn't realize that. They've been trying to frame a police up there. And they have been trying to frame the judges up there. And it was that drug lord and his daughter. That's where at Faith Family Church she told everybody she could have anybody raped. She just has to ask. Daddy breaks things when he's angry. They said he's very fond of his baby girl. He do. When I got raped and tortured, men showed up with broken limbs around me. And kept asking whose idea was it to torture me. And we kept telling him we didn't know. He broke my arm. They told me that. And they were broken in several pieces. He breaks while he asks questions. Because it wasn't a big attack he tortured me. And the guy that's saying he's Karen's will. Having people watch me and pain you. He's probably that idiot. And they were even talking about this with him. That idiot trying to sell her. Because if he really liked me, he would have got me out of here five years ago. He's probably in it with that Iraqi trying to sell me. Don't go out with him. Don't go around him. Tell on him before he sells somebody else. Nobody's so stupid to fall for this drug scam. I'm going to blow this.